Hello students, today's agenda is to check your homework. Uh, we're going to be doing rational exponents and you will be able to work on 8.5. Uh, today's students will be able to convert between rational exponents and roots. So before we start, I would like for us to come up with different ways of writing the number 36. And so, what if I tell you that another way of writing 36 is 6 to the second power? Well, 6 to the second power means 6 times 6, and therefore it's 36. Another way to write um, 36 will be, well, 36 to the first power. Uh, remember that whenever we have a number and there is no exponent, that means that it's a 1. So it's exactly the same, right? 36 or 36 to the first power is 36. Now what if we say, what is the square root of 36? Well. That would be 6. That means that I have to raise that to the second power to make it 36. Again, the square root of 36 is 6, but that raised to the second power is 36. Now, one that we might not think of and it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make the connection um, is 36 to the one half all raised to the second power and if we go to the previous lesson remember that if we have an exponent inside and an exponent outside of a, of a parenthesis it's a power raised to another power we multiply that, right? When we have exponents inside and outside, we multiply that. And let's look at that. Um, if we have 36 to the first, to the one half, and that raised to the second power, if we multiply this, we keep the base and multiply two times one half. Two times one half, what is that? We put it over one, Multiply straight and 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So basically, this expression, this expression means 36 to the first power, so it will be this one, which is a, a way of saying 36. Okay, so all these forms are ways to say 36. Now, one thing that I want you to see is that these two expressions are raised to the second power. Therefore, that means that the base is exactly the same. This is 6 and this is 6. So 36 to the 1 half is 6. 36 to the 1 half is like saying square root of 36. So this is going to be very important for today's lesson. Um, so if you don't understand that, maybe you want to rewind it and see this until you'll see the connection. Okay? Since both of these expressions are raised to the second power, then that makes these two bases the same. They look different, but they're the same. So we can say that the square root of 36 is equals to that same 36 to the 1 half power. Now, where does that come from? If you recall, if there is no exponent, that means that there is a 1 in there. And in the previous lesson, I I told you that when there is no index, there is a 2. 
So this is going to go to the numerator and the index is going to go to the denominator. And so that's what we're, what we're going to be working with in this lesson. Okay. Having that in mind, so we said that the square root of 36, um, if we were to convert that to a rational exponent, then we keep the same base and this is going to be a 1 and a 2, so to the 1 half power. Okay? Let's do another example. 121. To convert it into a rational exponent, and we know that the answer is going to be 11. Okay? Um, but for now, we're just converting them. So we keep the same base and Remember that if there is no exponent, the exponent is 1. If there is no index, the index is a 2. So to the 1 half power. If we have the square root of x, then that would be, we keep the same base. Exponent is going to be 1. The index is a 2. So x to the 1 half. Now sometimes we're going to have cubic roots. And so in here, we keep the same base. The exponent is 1, so my numerator is 1. And my index is 3, so my denominator is 3. What about 125? Keep the same base, which is 125. The exponent is 1. The index is 3. Okay? So easy. This on top, this on the bottom. Numerator, denominator. I think by now... Uh, you might be um, getting the hang of it. And so we keep the base, exponent is 1, the denominator is 3. And I want to let you know that this 3 can be with the 36 or as a whole with the square root of 36, okay? For this one, we keep the base, same thing, the exponent becomes the numerator and the index becomes the denominator. Now, what is the index? Okay, I want you to think. If there is no index, then the index is always 2. Just like in here, there was no index, those 2 should not be there. So those index are not there, okay? Remember that index 2 are not written down, just like exponents 1s are not written down either. So in here we don't have the index, so we know that it's a 2 the no denominator is 2. Square root of the cubic square root of 64 to the second power. Again, the second power can be here or it can be here. It doesn't matter. That's still an exponent. Okay? So we keep the same base. This is the numerator. The exponent becomes the numerator. The index becomes the denominator. So let me write that in a little note so that you can have it. The exponent becomes the numerator. The 
the index becomes the whoops the denominator And then if the index, if there is no index, if there is no index, then it is a two. Okay, so you might wanna write that in your notes. Pause the video right now so that you can have it. Now, we can also convert a rational exponent to a root. Okay, so we have 36 to the 1 half. Well, my square root is going to be 36, the 1 is in here, we don't write it. The 2 is the index, we don't write it, okay? 64 to the 1 half. Again, this is going to be my exponent, my index. Exponent 1, we don't write it. And index 2, we don't write it. X to the one half, so that will be just square root of X. The one in here, the two in here, we don't write that. Um, let's see, X to the third half. So we keep the same base, exponent three, we can put it in here or in here, it doesn't matter and the index two, I don't have to write it. So it will be the same thing if we write it like this or like this, okay? Both are correct. And I'm going, as you can see, a little faster just because I think hopefully you got the hang of it with the first one. Keep the same base. This is the exponent. This is the index. Be careful, okay? We can get confused. Um, if it was the other way around, we don't write the index, but in here, the denominator, which is a three, is the index, so then we do write it. Whoops. Um, in here, we keep the same base, the Four is the exponent, the three is the index. I'm gonna give myself some space. So I would like for you to pause the video and try these ones. What did I do? <laughs> there it is. Okay, pause the video and try these ones because I'm going to give you the answers right now, but I want you to try them before you see the answers. Okay, so it's just basically the opposite. The base always stays the same, either going from rational to a, to a root or, or from a root to a rational exponent, okay? The, the base stays the same. And just remember that this, this exponent becomes the numerator and the index becomes the denominator or vice versa. Um, from here to there, it would be, this becomes the exponent and the denominator becomes the index okay um so now with this you are able to work on assignment 8.5